What's going on you guys? So I know I've done interior mods and showed you guys what I have for the interior. It's changed a little bit, but today I'm going to be showing you guys the exterior of my car and what I've done to it. So starting with the engine bay, I haven't really touched the engine bay. The reason being is because I'm actually waiting for it to blow up. Uh, I don't want it to happen anytime soon. Uh, knock on wood. But uh, I actually want to go turbo. But I find it pointless to go turbo right now. Only because I feel like the engine's not going to be strong enough. So when it blows up, I want to get forged everything like the pistons and everything. Uh, so I do want to go turbo. And that's the only reason why it's stock right now, the engine. And why I'm working on the outside for now. Uh, so yeah, I'm planning to go turbo. And I've also talked to uh, Delicious Tuning. Because uh, I want to run E85. They don't have a kit right now, but I've been talking to them and they're going to be having a kit for the TC by next year. They're actually working on one right now. So I'm going to be running E85 once they come out with the TC kit. And that's pretty much it with the engine bay. And that's pretty much why the engine bay is pretty stock besides the paint. And yeah, so moving on to the headlights. Uh, I got these headlights off of eBay. Uh, I don't remember what the brand are. But I'm going to be changing them pretty soon to the 2010 Scion TCs. Uh, the one with the three headlights. Uh, I, also, I also have HIDs. I believe they're 6K. I have the canards. Uh, four. There are four. Two on this side and two on the other side. Uh, I believe I got them on everything for Scion. Uh, they were maybe, I think, about 60 bucks. It didn't cost that much, but I just was looking for a temporary aggressive look. I'm going to be changing them pretty soon uh, to uh, even more aggressive ones. Of course, this is the RS3. This is the RS3 TC, so it has the RS3 grill and it has the RS3 bottom bumper lip. Uh, I've also bought... I know I told you guys I wasn't going to tell you guys what lip this is, but this is the Scion FRS Rocket Bunny V1 uh, front lip. So that's how it looks. So as you guys saw in my install video, uh, I actually had it all the way like up to here and I decided just to move it all the way back to keep it flush with the bumper. But yeah, that's going to do with the front. Moving on to the side. Uh, the side I have for the wheels, I have STR606s. Uh, they are 17 by 8.5 plus 35 and I'm lowered on Megan Racing Easy Street Coilovers. I really like these coilovers and I haven't really had a problem with the coilovers uh, but I am planning on selling them. The only reason I'm selling them is because they're not stiff enough. Uh, they're stiff but I I just really want to go stiff like stiff stiff like real stiff. But that's the only reason why I'm selling them. These coilovers were the first coilovers I bought and I, I really enjoy them. I, I like them. I haven't had any issues with them or anything but just not being stiff 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 enough. But besides that I'll probably end up selling them. So if any of you guys are interested, leave a comment down below that you guys are interested. I probably won't sell them for maybe about a month because I kind of want to buy the other coilovers. Uh, and I'm actually thinking about going with BC Racing, Extreme Lows, or ISC Suspension. I'm not really sure. I'm still looking into it. But I'm going to be changing to that and getting rid of these. So if you guys want it, so if you guys want it uh, leave a comment down below and I'll talk to you guys about it. So that's pretty much the... That's pretty much the side. Besides the back, the back has a SPC camber kit. And yeah. Now moving on to the back. The back has a save on carbon fiber trunk. It's the OEM one. So it does it because they have the BIS carbon fiber trunk where it has like the little duck bill. Uh, and then it has a save on garnish, save on license plate frame. And since this is the RS3, it has the RS3 rear tail lights. Uh, it does, and it doesn't have the RS3 rear bumper, but I have the Kaminari, the Kaminari rear bumper. I, I I actually really like this bumper. I'm not really planning on changing it or anything, because I really like this one. Now, moving on to the exhaust. The exhaust I bought it off of eBay. It was actually one of the first mods I ever did to this car, and I don't remember how much I paid for it. But I, this exhaust is, has a nice tone to it. Um, 
it didn't have any rasp to it it was hanging a little bit low when i got it but when i took it to the muffler shop they put like a smaller piping and they didn't really weld it like proper and now they added like a, it has it added like a little rasp a little 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 rasp to it and once you start it up and you start going but once it's warmed up you don't really hear the rasp anymore but i'm gonna be changing that pretty soon and i'm gonna go straight pipe uh but yeah that's what i have for now is the srs exhaust cat back exhaust and then i just have the carbon fiber stubby antenna and that's pretty much it so just to recap this video i'm just gonna walk around the car and just name everything real quick of everything i've done to the car so it's the rocket bunny frs v1 lip front lip the canards the headlights has the RS3 grill, the RS3 bottom bumper lip piece, uh, the side Megan Easy Street race, racing coilovers, uh, STR 606s, the back has SPC camber kit, carbon fiber trunk, carbon fiber garnish, carbon fiber license plate, Kaminari rear bumper, SRS exhaust, and the carbon fiber antenna so that's pretty much everything i've done to the car uh i probably won't do another update video until like a year or so uh so that's how it's gonna stay for now as you guys know i bought the spoiler the kaminari spoiler and i'm gonna be putting that on pretty soon but that's pretty much it uh if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like leave a comment if you guys have any question on anything that i have oh and especially if you guys want the easy racing street coilovers uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested in them because uh, I am going to be selling them. But besides that, that's pretty much everything. So yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.